So hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I make it looks a bit crazy and the lineup, but I was filming something in between this, so I thought, why not just film the Tiana Taylor collection while I'm doing this? Because I got it yesterday and I thought, you know what I need to film was this because I've been so excited for this and guys, you guys know I love Tiana Taylor. If you haven't listened to her new album, you need to question yourself, ask Google, ask Jeeves, I'm not sure who, but if you wanna see what's going on with Tiana Taylor and Mac, keep on watching, Pooh. mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so the collection came and it was very, very um, simple. It's really, really nice. And um, before I continue, obviously, if you guys want to hit that subscribe button and obviously click the bell, we're all trying to like, you know, I'm trying to grow my family up in here. And it really means the world to me. Obviously, if you come back to watch my videos or you comment down below, every comment means the world to me. I love replying back to all your comments. So thank you so much. But obviously, click the bell, click subscribe, follow me on the gram. Mm-hmm, poo. So yeah, it's basically all lips, the packaging, is just life. I love it. If I was gonna have a Mac collaboration, this would be kind of the vibe I was gonna go down. It's very different from Mac. This kind of gives me like, oops. This kind of gives me like KKW Beauty vibes, but I am living for it. Like, let me give you an um, example. Let me see. It's kind of giving me KKW Beauty vibes, but I think the Tiana Taylor one looks a bit better. Cause it's, it's obviously neon and we love a neon moment. Guys, my hair looks a mess. Don't even watch that. Anyway, so we have chestnut so a lot of it's repromotes which is sometimes annoying but i guess i get what i do and i think if i was tiana taylor i'd probably want chestnut in my collection also but i'd probably want like a little remix so i think it's very black girl friendly and black boy friendly so i'm gonna try a few on the lip signs we have what i like about it, it's all color created as well so it's very easy to like put the um sets together so we've got here we've got night moth um, I've actually had the discontinued Night Moth, is that true? It might be something else, but we have Night Moth, a Rose in Harlem. She's got some really good nudes, so I'm gonna try this on for you. I'm really excited to try this one, that's why I haven't got any highlight on. This is a mineral skin finish, and it's called House of Petunia. So you guys know, Turner Taylor's always been for the culture, even like the LGBTQIA, she's always been at Pride, she always knows, she knows how to Vogue, that's why Loki, when that show came on, it was called Legendary, and it has Megan in it. I really feel like they should have chosen Tiana Taylor, but anyway, let's just get on. Let's get, let's get on with it. What I did notice as well, these pencils are much shorter than the normal pencils. Like I was like, girl, I'm not sure how expensive they are, but these pencils are definitely shorter than the um, ordinary pencils. So I'm gonna line my. I haven't used chestnut for ages, so let me line. I always forget how nice chestnut is. Chestnut is one of those liners here that is just so banking. You can never go wrong with chestnut. Like, ugh, it's, it's just if you don't have chestnut in your black, like. Well, go on for you, baby. Okay, so I'm gonna pair it with the green lipstick. This is called I've Got A Man. This is the most exciting lipstick I was excited for. And what I like about this collection, it's a lot of mattes. Ooh, this nude. I actually might have to order. These, these were all sent to me, by the way, but if I like this color, I'm gonna have to order it backwards because I just know that these are gonna go. Colors me. I'd wear this by itself, to be fair, honestly. Nice. But I love this color. Are you guys feeling it? I'm just gonna go back in with a bit of a chestnut. No, I really like this shade. Such a good nude. I know my eyes are a bit loud, but it's fine. We have a gloss. I, I would leave it like this personally, but I'm gonna show you the gloss in it, in just in case. Could you guys wear this gloss by itself? This is called But Ain't Got No Manners. I love all the names. So I'm gonna put this on top. Oh, this looks quite morbid though. No, I'm gonna have to order backups of these because these colors are just very, this, no. No. Tiana isn't playing any games. This is so, so banging, guys. If you can get, this is like the perfect nude. Like, I would wear this. This is daytime, nighttime, you know, meeting a man and meeting like, you know, your sugar daddy, whatever, like, period. Okay, the next shade I'm gonna try is Night Moth. And this one is called A Rose in Harlem. Is it she from Harlem? Do you remember her first song? Google me, baby. Cause she was signed to Pharrell, I think. Oh, this is a red, ooh. I love her new album. You got the wrong, wrong, bitch. You got the wrong, wrong, bitch. Love that song. And the one with um, concrete. I cannot sing, guys. But we're gonna try this red one. I don't normally do reds, and I know the red's gonna clash with um this eye look. But let's just do it. I'm gonna line my lips, obviously, just first with Night Moth. But guys, if you haven't used Night Moth, I'm not sure what for you is. But Night Moth is such a banging color. How have you guys been? Don't forget I'm doing a live tomorrow. So if you have any topics for me to talk about, Night Moth just brings me, Night Moth brings me back so much memories. Like, oh, just working at Mac and Night Moth just, 
I don't know, it, it just brings back, I don't know, like, it's just such a, a staple liner. Then we're gonna put on a rose in Harlem. This is something my, my mom would wear. Not in a bad way, but my mom loves these kind of, you know, deep, ready plums. Not my, obviously, lipstick vibe. I don't really wear colors like this because, oh my God, it's clashing so much with my eyes. But let's, let's just um, blank out that. And this is such a beautiful lip. Um, I love this shade. It feels really nice. It really feels different. Obviously, it's not a retro matte, but we're gonna put on the gloss, and this is called It's Across the Board. D A the Board. So let's try this. Yes, me. I actually really like this as well. No, you were not playing. All the lip combos are just, I just know they're gonna look amazing on all my chocolate ladies and guys out there. Like, mm. I just feel like, you know, I wanna go out in the night and take your, your man. man. Your, your baby, baby daddy, daddy your, your boyfriend, boyfriend your, your cousin, cousin everyone i actually love how everything's just literally color coordinated it's just so easy like so imagine like you're thinking oh my god where's that thing that matches that it's just such a good idea the packaging is just goals like this is called oh my god cyber world maybe they discontinue cyber world i think they have discontinued cyber world but i haven't i've never used cyber world i don't think but I remember it, it's one of those liners that go with particular colors, let me see what it looks like, Night Moth, but I think Cyberworld goes really well with Rebel. Do you remember the color Rebel? There's so much matte lipsticks that are like, so like, like kind of sexy, Rebel, um, Plum 4, Ruby Woo, and I feel like MAC are so good at doing celeb um, celebrity cl um, collaborations, like, remember when Mary J Blige and Little Kim with Viva Glam Ambassadors, then Nicki Minaj, and Nicki Minaj released those nudes, they really know how to choose celebrity ambassadors so, so well. Even though that whole madness happened with Doja Cat, you know, if it didn't happen, Doja Cat would have been such a good Viva Glam ambassador, but obviously, I, I'm not sure what's going on with her, but ciao. Okay, so this lipstick is not, it's okay, this lipstick is a frost, and it's called Junie B. I, I'm, I'm guessing all the names have some kind of um, meaning. I'm not sure what this means, sorry if it means something else. When I think of frost, I think of a particular customer. If, if you knew what tech Mac, you know, a, a certain type of customer buys a frost and you know who it is. I'm not gonna say, but you just know. I really like the combinations. Like, she, you can tell, like, it was definitely thought about. Like, it just wasn't like, you know, well, I just want a nude, I want that. Oh, this is a gloss that goes with it. And this is called Save Your Tears, Honey. What formula of glass are these lip glasses? Oh, the lip glasses, yeah. Oh my God, what? The formula feels different. It's not sticky. Lip glasses were never sticky, but oh my God. No, I like this. This is nice. This is different. This is very grungy, bad bitch. This is these colors are very her, especially this one, because she really likes a purple lip. Like, okay. Times I have all these lips. My lips are gonna be like, help me, help me. But guys, I can't wait. I cannot wait for the to lay tomorrow. I need to write down all the topics I want to talk about. But if you guys can help me with topics, because I always forget. If you guys have any dilemmas. Email them to me, DM me, anything because I want it to be juicy. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna upload a preview, um, not a preview, but the time it's gonna be probably tonight or tomorrow. But um, it'll probably be like 12 p.m. U U British BST time. Is that it? Yeah. So make sure you guys are here. I'm gonna have some tequila. Wait a minute. We can't be getting copyrighted up in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this liner is. <gasps> This is the liner I wanted to try. So, this is called Hodgepodge. This was a liner that was um, released a long time ago, but it got discontinued. Apparently, it's a mixture of chestnut and cork, but on the lighter side. So, never tried this before. Well, I'm sure I have, but I think it was before my time, well, before I worked at MAC. So, let's try this. You know what? I should have done the lighter colors first, then the darker colors, because the darker colors sometimes always stay in my lips. This liner looks a bit light for me. Okay, so Hodge Podge is like a bit lighter. I didn't think it would be as light. Maybe it's because, maybe it's because I had, mm. but anyway, child, anyway. So this is called Good Morning. Oh, this is matte as well. I just love it. Yes, for the matte, she's got one frost. This is the last one. So let's try this. No, 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 no. We're gonna have to, gonna have to switch up the liner because Hodge Podge, I just don't, Hodge Podge looks so deep. Look how deep it looks. Maybe it's because it is quite cool though, maybe it's because my lip colour. Because my lips are, are, are quite dark, but I'm going to put on chestnut quickly. So we've got chestnut on, um, so we're going to um, continue with good moaning. This colour's nice. 
It's not my favorite. I might try and put a bit of more chestnut on. Yeah, it needs definitely more definition, do you guys think? Much better. Mm, this pink isn't my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. I think it would look really nice on someone that's a bit lighter than me. I could still finesse it. Maybe if I did put lip line, it would look good, but it is nice though. I do think it is nice. Maybe it's the eye color. It is the eye color is just throwing it off, but I'm gonna put it on with the gloss and this is called Gonna Love Me. So I know this gloss, ooh, this gloss has got like a pink pigment. Can you see it? Like the glosses take, all the glosses are banging. Like all the glosses are, like it just took that lip from Sharkeisha to, <laughs> Brianna, like, no. This lip even goes with the eye because it's so nude. Like when I put the lip on, I was like, mm, mm, even hard to purge, but like, you know, it looks really nice. Oh, okay, okay, we're feeling it, we're feeling it. Okay, so quickly just put on my favorite one, which is called, I've got a man, guys. My hair is obviously making me very just, it needs to be done, it's getting done this weekend, so. <laughs> <laughs> baby. So um, we're gonna try the mineralized skin finish out. This is definitely the last product, right? Yeah. So it's not a big collection, but it's like nice and cute. And I think it's very customer friendly. Like I feel like most skin tones can wear the shades. Like you can, there's something for everyone. So this is the mineralized skin finish. I feel like it was gonna be a bit deeper. And when I first saw the collection come out, I was like, if this is gold deposit reformatted, I'm gonna scream. So um, this isn't. So let me just swatch it for you. So that's it there. So it's definitely, is that gonna focus? It's definitely more of a highlighter kind of vibe. I probably wouldn't put this all over the face, but um, I'm gonna try it with a highlight brush. Okay, so I found a brush. I'm gonna use this milk one. So, so cute. So let's try this. Actually, I need to look my face first. Okay. So let's just try this out. I think it's nice. Let me inspect. Obviously it's nothing, I don't think it's anything groundbreaking. Like it's just, I definitely wouldn't put this all over the face. It's too glittery, but um, it's really nice though. I can see why people would like this and I really like the mineralized skin finish formulas. Oh, it's really nice. It's blending out like butter, which if you know all the mineralized skin finishes are baked. So if you like baked powders and I haven't used deep dark for ages. Remember, do you remember mineralized skin is deep dark? That was a jam. I need to get me one of those because I think I broke mine. Yeah, really nice. It's actually not, I'm, I've never seen her with a lot of highlight. I've seen her with a bit, she does, she does, she's not known for a strong, pretty, that really nice. Obviously, it's not my favorite thing out of the collection, but again, she's not known for highlight. So guys, I think that's all the products. What do you guys think? I got the wrong, wrong, bitch. Mm, mm, mm. Love this packaging, by the way. Okay, so guys, that is obviously the end of this video, but I'm gonna round up what I think you need in your life. So my favorite lipstick is, I got a man. I would definitely say I get, I got a man. Um, so, so nice. It's just a pretty, pretty nude. That should definitely make this permanent because there's not a lot of nudes that actually, there is a lot of nudes, but this is a very different kind of shade. It's perfect. It's so similar to Gucci, Mona Lisa cameo. Maybe a tiny bit warmer, so nice. The gloss, so, so pretty. I just love the bronze kind of pearl in there. Love, um, obviously, if you don't have chestnut liner, already get it, but these are definitely shorter than the normal pencils, I think. Maybe it's just me, maybe because the lid is longer, but if you don't have chestnut, get it for the limited edition packaging. Obviously, I think it's like a pound or two pound more, just from working at Mac, I remember that. The red, obviously, wasn't my kind of jam, but these combos together, the second lip, the, um, the dark one, was definitely beautiful, and I think it would look beautiful on a lot of, lot of skin tones, and I think it would look beautiful on you guys. And I did, I did like the purple again, not my favorite color, but I think all the lip combos looked amazing. I preferred all the lip glasses, so this would look amazing by itself. This lip gloss was really nice. The only lipstick that I was kind of like, mm, was Good Morning. This is really, really nice, but I was a bit disappointed with Hodgepodge because I thought it would have been a bit darker, but I'm gonna try Hodgepodge again, but it does look darker on my arm, but I think it would look more suitable for a lighter skin tone because my lips are a bit dark anyway. The mineralized skin finish, I do, like it's obviously i think i've got colors similar to this that's why it didn't blow me away but um, it is really really pretty as you guys can see and um, it's baked so it blends right into the skin but if you are a fan of tiana taylor i would definitely tr just try and say try and pick up what you can but the nudes are banging the nudes are a vibe 
thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you change this to Sip and Slate tomorrow. I like everything in the collection to be fair. To be fair, like I would, I wouldn't be like, oh, that's crap. But um, I'm gonna give some of these colors to my sister because I know she'll like them. And I'm gonna keep the nudes to myself because the nudes are banging. Like this one, this nude is just me every day, night out, mm, club, whatever, beach, whatever. Period. Thank you for watching this. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Please comment down below what you think of this collection. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.